Hello and uh, welcome back. Uh, later today I'm going to restore this old uh, Delta Electronica power supply. And uh, it's it's quite old. I, I wrote it down. It's produced between uh, 64 and 1970. So it's almost 50 years old. Between 50 and 60 years even. And um, but first, I like to see how uh, how bad is the rimpel because probably we need to uh, change the capacitors. I already have ordered them, and um, I I can do that to check. I need to check on the load, and I have here my uh, Kunkin electronic load right there. But it is an electronic load. So this one will also create a little uh, ripple. Uh, only this one would be in the kilohertz, while this one would be 5100 hertz. Um, but I, 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 if you cannot afford uh, this this electronic uh, load, then then we can make a little one with resistors. And I'm going to show you because I think it's more fair and it's also fun to to build uh, to really have the load really ohms pure ohms load instead of doing your electronic load and it's just fun to see and we don't need to to too much power so, so uh, let me focus on the zoom in on the components so what you can do as a load we want pure ohms so that's this this is just a resistor i think it's 50 watts and uh, 10 ohms and uh, so that's why we need uh, at least two to divide. Then we get five ohms, or we get a little bit lower. We get three, or we get two and a half ohms. Uh, but it would be nice if it was switchable. No, so I have these switches from China. They were very cheap. I was thinking to do it like this, and then you can just choose with all the switches up. You just have to. 10 ohms and of course we need the thick wire well i have an old wire here two proper plugs we just connect it on this side and on this side one big strip here and if i want less resistors i switch this extra one then these are in parallel you switch an extra one then these three are in parallel and then you switch this one and then you have them all in parallel that's the idea. Very simple, very cheap if you have the components, and I think it's very usable. Well, the resistors are probably going to be old. I found this. You can see it's old. I don't know. I took it from somewhere. I just wanted to keep it. And uh, I think we can just uh, put it all on top. And then put the switches here. And uh, so it doesn't burn through the table and it can dissipate some heat. Um, well, I will put it on time lapse. I play some music myself. And let's go. Okay, this is what I quickly built. Just the uh, switches connect directly to the resistors. One pin there. I connected here all the sides and the other side. And then you just have one resistor, two resistors, three resistors, four resistors. So now you have a variable load. And uh, let's see what it does on the ohms meter. Uh, these resistors can uh, dissipate a lot of heat, but they are actually built to be on a on the heatsink, so uh, I can still do that. Uh, I need to drill them in, but uh, for now I just leave it as it is because I'm gonna test very shortly. But uh, in the end, I just need to connect it to the heatsink. So here we have it. Let me put the uh, ice zoom in a little bit, and uh, you can have a look on the ohms uh, meter. Okay, so we just plug it in. 
and now it should say 10 and it says 10 ohms so that is good so now we can do low uh, currents but if i uh, switch another now we have two resistors it would say around five we put three resistors and we put the last one and then we are around two 2.5 and also by putting the resistors in parallel, not only do we decrease the, the resistance, it also makes them able to dissipate more power because you put more in parallel. So I really was a little bit lazy today, so I just put two tie wraps around it. And uh, the, the heat transfer will not be great. And also maybe it will even melt through my tie wraps. But uh, I just want to do some quick testing. And uh, well, this is how you can make your electronic load so that's it quick and dirty electronic load but it's perfect to measure on power supplies because it's a real uh, real ohms uh, pure resistance so uh, thank you for watching and i hope to see you next time